so that you are the life of the party and not the idiot of the party there's a big difference not the idiot of the party but the life of the party okay when you go in there you're able to laugh and talk and you know with some more confidence like a real hot girl honey not a hot mess you don't want to walk out here in a whole hot mess okay Guys, sorry I had a guest had to attend to some business and time went by and the lighting has changed here we are but we're still gonna continue on our hot summer girl item list all right so we were talking about um, bright sellers before I went out and um, when I went downstairs to drop off my guest I saw this beautiful envelope so someone's going to be walking away with $45 of their bright seller <laughs> monthly wine box. Yay. <laughs> yeah, this was so sweet. Um, so here, 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 here. To put my full name, everything. And um, oh, oh, I don't want to tear. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty letter. And it says, dear, I'm going to say my first name, but dear first name, I'm your wine concierge and I want to welcome you to Bright Cellars. We wouldn't be where we are today without your support, blah, blah, blah. Do you love our service? Please help us share these cards with your family and friends. You'll also get a bonus bottle for inviting someone who joins Bright Cellar. Yay. Anyways, so you guys. I'm gonna drop the code at the bottom, but you're be, you'll be getting $45 of Bright Sellers if you use the code that I'm going to offer you. All you have to do is take a quiz, and that's it. You win, um, you get $45 of your monthly Bright Seller box, okay? Every single hot girl, guys included, should literally have a bomb deodorant, because you guys, I'm not gonna, some of you guys just walk out. Ugh. I know what you might be thinking. Is this necessary? Doesn't everybody know? Isn't this basic hygiene? You take a shower, you wear deodorant. No, no, no. Not everybody knows that. Some people think you take a shower, you know, you're clean, right? You take a shower, put on some lotion, put on some perfume, you're clean, you're good to go. You're not good to go if you're a grown, <laughs> if you're a grown man or a grown woman, you perspire more. That's part of puberty and part of, you know, growing up. You're no longer at your young stage where you sweat and your sweat smells, you know, like sweet smell, <laughs> just like air or like outside. No, there is a potent smell to it, also because you're growing hair. So. You absolutely need to have something under your arm, some underarm protector, some underarm guard from you know the sweaty, musky um, feel and smell that you get when you sweat, right? So a lot of people confuse deodorant with antiperspirant. Please do not confuse the two. Antiperspirant is anti-sweat. <laughs> Okay, antiperspiring. So it blocks the glands. That's what gives you those boils and all those things that pop up from your underarm that you hate. Yeah, boils and cysts and all kinds of horrible things. And yes, it is, you know, carcinogenic. Yeah, you can get cancer from that. If your pores are constantly being clogged and nothing's coming out, it is a problem okay your skin is a very important organ and so therefore it is a problem if your skin cannot perspire with deodorant you can perspire you will perspire you will sweat but your sweat will smell sweeter and also because of the thick and the um, the gel like consistency of your deodorant it will not completely block the pores, but it will prevent too much, a lot of sweat from like falling and dripping, right? So it is meant to deodorize your armpit, have it smelling good, <laughs> like a hot girl, <laughs> but it's not detrimental to you. It's not as detrimental as antiperspirant will be. Now, if you do not want this, you can also put some powder that doesn't have talcum, 
right? You can put some powder under your armpit as well. Arm & Hammer has a great, great, great powder for this. So you can put some powder under your armpit and keep it moving, but child, please, okay? Do not walk around here with a non-deodorized armpit, you know, on a hot summer as a hot girl. <laughs> Next. Now we would have to go to the mind yes because one of the main ingredients of a hot 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 girl okay is how she thinks what she thinks her opinions how she forms them you know so your brain is super important darling you are not a hot girl with a hot mess for a brain you have to be able to engage in conversations right so when megan says you have to be the life of the party to be a hot girl you have to be it your presence has to be felt when you walk into the room she's not talking about in a stupid manner she's not talking about in a whack manner she's not talking about in a basic manner hot girls are not basic far from it so what does that mean that means your intellect has to shine bright like a diamond when you walk into the room okay it's not just your swag it's just not it's not just your smell okay it's your sexy and i'm sorry but your sexy is very much here not in the hair <laughs> but in the brain all right so what this takes me to is my favorite 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 hot girl summer item wait for it wait for it wait for it Ta -da! audible 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 i absolutely love audible so you can have a kindle you can have an audible you can have a nook i don't care what you have but get you a good a good um, library, a good digital library. So wherever you go, you can save paper and you can also listen to your favorite books to expand your mind, right? If you don't want to do that, you can read. You don't have to listen to a book. You can also read the book traditionally, right? And expand your mind. And why do I prefer the digital route? It saves paper and I honestly just love swiping. I hate the smell of old books. I'm allergic to dust. And really, if I'm reading an old book, I'll be out here sneezing sneezing till that kingdom come there is no fun in it i don't like flipping traditional pages i prefer to save the trees and swipe yes darling so audible is literally my favorite i am reading the girl who smiles beads then another then another then the men the re I'm currently reading The Girl Who Smiles Beats. Audible, if you see this, God damn it, Elizabeth, I know we are just at 400 followers, but mark my word. <laughs> you won't be disappointed because we'll get there. I have so many books and it literally opens your horizons, okay? The Girl Who Smiles Beats, it takes me to Rwanda. It takes me into the mind of someone who has survived terrible war crimes, right? Someone who has survived war and is now in a place in her life where she's getting a premium education you know at Yale University just it's such a beautiful 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 book um when you read the 48 laws of power it's such a savage book <laughs> right it's such a savage but there is so much you can learn about navigating um the workspace about how people think about how powerful people think about how people can be strategic so you're not going out here being a learner um what other book do i have here i have tons and tons of book tons and tons of books um I have Start Late, Finish Rich, which is so good for investing and learning just financial literacy. It's such a great book. I mean, David Back, I think it's mainly British, but anybody can learn from it. Um, the Religion of Small Societies. I absolutely love that book. So yeah, I think if you want to be a hot girl, you literally have to be able to navigate in finance spaces. You want to be able to navigate in ratchet spaces. You want to be able to navigate 
um, in um, religious spaces, navigate in um, you know academic intellectual spaces. You want to be able to have these conversations no matter what party you're at, all right? No matter what event you're at. If it's about music, grab a book about you know the economics of music, the economics of the music industry, or how you know the politics of the music industry. Read about the greats. And so when you, you know, when you're in those spaces, you are fluent in that language, okay? When you're in the political space, you're fluent in that language. You understand democracy, you understand fascism, you understand um, socialism, communism, all these things, right? So even if you don't study these in school in depth, in depth, in depth, you can still educate yourself with an audible book, right? So you really honestly have no excuse because literally you can take a day or two to finish a lot of these books right just by listening to them so if you need to a rush course before you go to this event so that you are the life of the party and not the idiot of the party there's a big difference not the idiot of the party but the life of the party okay when you go in there you're able to laugh and talk and you know with some more confidence like a real hot girl honey not a hot mess you don't want to walk out here in a whole hot mess okay all right so now we've covered mind body now item number that I think it's super super important is the spiritual aspect of it which means you want to make sure that you are one with mind you are one with God whatever you call it you're one with energy and one with the universe you are one with that higher power that higher source you need to align your energy so which means you need to take a moment to breathe every single day literally conscious breath you need to take five minutes out of your day if you can before you go to bed before you wake up Take five minutes to just not think about anything. Just focus on your breath. Five minutes to thank the universe for life. Five minutes to literally invite your spirit guides, okay? And have them work on you. Have them literally put that goodwill in you, all right? Fix anything that you feel, you know, is bothering you. Just reset your mind, meditate if you want to, but take those five minutes out, you know? The more you're more disciplined and focused and the more you start enjoying this, you can amp it up to, you know, 10 minutes, amp it up to 11 minutes, 12 minutes, one hour, you name it, but take that time of every single day to align yourself because it helps you really sync yourself with your intuition, sync yourself with your inner God self, right? And so therefore when you go out, it's not easy, for, it's not going to be easy for anyone to like screw you over, it's not going to be easy for you to screw yourself over right you're not going to make those rash stupid decisions that could literally ruin your summer <laughs> that could ruin your life right for example let's say you get an offer uh, for a new job and you realize that okay maybe this job is going to you know is the job of my dreams and whatnot but you're going to pay you get again you maybe this is the job of my dreams I'm going to be get paid 50% less not a hot girl move to take that, is it? Is it? No, you have to bet on yourself. You have to trust yourself. Okay. So what that means is you have to think about these things. And if you are aligned, you know that you know what what's mine is mine. It will never pass me by. So I'm going to wait and put more work so that I can get both sides of the deal. I can get the money I deserve and I can get the deal I want. I'm not going to be desperate and fall into a decision that doesn't serve me in the long run. See, you're aligned, you're not afraid. There's no fear. So you can make this decision, these decisions with your chest. You don't have to run to Jenna and Mary and say, should I take that job? But it's a job of my dreams. <laughs> should I do this? But <laughs> no, 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 no. Should I date that idiot? But he came back and he said he's really, really sorry. And he said he's going to love me and treat me better. But you know, he loves Jennifer down the street and John down the, you know, down the street there. He loves both of them too. But like, um, but like he likes me too. And like, he's like, like, like the man of my dreams. So what do I do? Shut up. Shut up. Stop it. Stop it. You're asking me because you know somewhere in there that you know the answer. Deep down, you know the answer. So go, create your little altar, pray, meditate, take a moment, all our meds, as Jamaicans will say, and just like align yourself, align your spirits. Burn some sage or so palo santo. 
and have that burn while you meditate and while you think and while you give gratitude to the universe thank the universe for wisdom for everything that your heart desires that you know you already have you know will not leave you you know it's coming to you why because you are showing gratitude to the universe you are thanking your ancestors you are giving that gratitude you're trusting yourself you're trusting your higher self you're trusting your chi you're disciplining your chi and your chi is slowly learning and whatever to work in your interest so important so important one of the books that i recommend you read it's been going up i've heard a lot of people talk about this book if you're interested in, at all in metaphysics you should read the kabbalion this is audible you should read the kabbalion here it is. It's spelled K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N, the Kabbalion. It is super, super good. And I think it's going to really teach you about um, how the universe works. It will help you understand life better, help you understand the spiritual journey, your spiritual journey better. So I definitely think it's something you need to look into if you're into metaphysics or you're interested in metaphysics and spirituality, okay? If you're interested in the occult, all that stuff, just, just read the Kabbalion all right read the cabalion so yeah that's all we have you guys mind body and soul honey five items that you need to be a hot 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 to the hot 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 girl this summer all right i love you guys and until next week i've been your host Lachi Chimama for pop salt and culture don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and join the salt nation you guys we are 400 strong and i'm so 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 excited so yes we will definitely definitely be doing a little um <laughs> for all our salt nation people out there if you live in the u.s you will definitely be able to enjoy bright sellers okay you'll be getting 45 dollars off 45 dollars off 45 percent of 45 dollars off your next order okay of your wine for the entire month right they curate it for the entire month they send you a whole box all right of wine to choose from so well put together um I love you guys so so much really I can't tell you how much I love you I want to give a shout out to our new subbies <laughs> I should probably be doing this every week right so if you make your subscriber list um, known um, your name will pop out every time you subscribe to the channel and join the, sub the salt nation and I will be able to give you a shout out now if your subscription is private then I will not be able to tell if you subscribed or not and so I will not be able to give you that shout out okay so hold on let's see our latest subscriber is Animat Morsi. Animat, thank you so much for joining the Salt Nation. We love you so, so much. Um, don't forget to go down into the comment section, engage, you know, chat about what you want to see, chat about what you feel about each video that you watch. And I'm really good with responding, so I'll definitely respond to your comments. I really love you guys. So um, keep subscribing and I'll be giving um, shout outs. I'll be shouting out like the five, 10 people, <laughs> the first five or 10 people that's out, okay? So I love you guys so, so much.